have you ever observed the tamed animals performing different feats at circus have you ever imagined have you ever thought that how these animals are tamed to perform different kinds of feats and have you ever come across and in the forest what would be the reaction of these tamed wild animals certainly they would cause danger to you they would cause harm to you and even they can kill you this is the response of these tamed animals which are not tamed in the forest likewise it's also difficult it's also challenging to train your brain to think in english like taming the animals but it's not impossible i am going to give you three techniques by which you can easily train your brain training your brain is actually taming your brain and it's a challenging task you have to accept this challenge you have to remind yourself that i have to go or i have to come up with a new challenge and the challenge is that i have to tame my brain you should not say train you have to tame your brain it's a skill you have to develop it's like a muscle you have to exercise like in the gym now you have to do this taming exercise of your brain in the gym and the gym is these techniques what are these techniques i am going to share with you number 1 technique in order to avoid this transition a translational process in from your native language to english language the very first step is that the very foremost step is that you have to avoid learning words new words vocabulary in separateness you have to learn the words in the proper context whenever you come to know or whenever you come across a new word which fascinates you a lot you should not write down only the separate word you have to write down the whole context of that word so that it can be made clear in your mind for example if you come across morning word morning word now you should not write down the morning you should write down in the morning because when you have to utilize this new word morning you will be perplexed you will be confused which proposition is appropriate for this word but if you have written down in the morning at night or like these words you will get to know that i have to utilize in the morning i get up early in the morning i go to sleep at 10 at night so when you come across or when you have written down these kind of words in their context in the situation you will come to know that this is the right method so this should be your practice learn english language learn new words in context in chunks rather than separateness it will be easy for you when you will be come across or when you will be in the conversation you will get to know that i have to utilize this word in the proper appropriate context because this is the problem with many non native speakers that they often use the words in the wrong context why wrong context because they don't know what is the right situation what is the appropriate context what is the appropriate situation in which this word should be utilized so they go for their native language number 2 technique is that you have to train your brain to generate responses to common questions very important thing there are limited type of common questions when we come across with the strangers in our meeting in our conversation for example the most common question is how are you how are you if you can't produce or if you can't generate the answer of this simple question i am good what about you 
if you can't generate this simple answer it means it's an indicator that you have to work on your thinking skills you have to work on your thinking skills because thinking skills are the initial steps are the building block for your speaking skills if this is not your trained part how can you speak which is automatic which should be automatic which should be spontaneous which should be natural if there is lot of tra translational or trans uh, if you are consuming or if you are translating a lot it means you are taking a lot of time generating response by translation it consumes a lot of time a lot of energy and it disrupts your communication the other speaker will not take any kind of interest in your speech number 3 method number 3 technique is that you have to associate new words new vocabulary because you have to give your brain a sign why you are learning why are you are mugging up your brain what is the reason of learning new words because your brain will not be convinced by your simple reality that i have to learn this new word this fascinates me why fascinates you what is the connection you have to build connections in your brain you have to build associations in your brain you can associate it with your past experience you can associate it with the words you have already memorized so that it would be easy for you to learn for example if you are coming across a new word like eliminate eliminate weed out you have to associate this word remove whenever you come across that remove this trash you have to say that eliminate this trash eliminate this trash eliminate the corruption system remove this corruption system eliminate this corruption system eliminate this lazy attitude towards learning english language weed out the the extra unwanted plants from the garden you should not say remove you should say weed out weed out is just to eliminate just to remove the unwanted plants from your garden so you have to associate the words with the sounds you have already heard your with your experience past experience and these connections are beneficial for you and it will help you to remove this translation or transition process translating uh, translating process from your mind and you will you will sound more natural because speaking english language is just like an art is just like a muscle you have to develop you have to develop this art so hope you have understood this reality and you have come across three new techniques and by implementing this technique you will be fluent english speaker because you will not get stuck in this translating process you will not consume a lot of energy rather you, your main focus will be how to maintain a healthy and interesting conversation how to give arguments in response to different kind of questions and in this way you will become a center of attraction when you are in the crowd when you are confronting or you are in front of the audience or if you are presenting any kind of presentation so this is my lesson of today if you like this video kindly share and subscribe it and hit that bell icon because it motivates me to make much more informative videos for you guys Till the next video stay happy stay blessed thank you so much have a nice day